how to drive volcano step by step hey what is going on everybody so for the first step of our drawing today we're going to begin by drawing a huge glob of lava at the top point of our volcano which will make it appear as if lava is dripping down the very top And if you're new to the channel, then welcome to Learn How to Draw Hub. Just keep in mind that we upload every single day. The cool part about this step is that you can get kind of creative when making your lava. Now we're going to want to connect this point all the way over to the one in which we first started. Nice, so far this is a great start. Next we're going to begin to build the base and the bottom portion of our volcano, which will connect to the big glob of lava that we first drew up top. When I draw the sides of my volcano, you'll notice that I go back and forth just to make sure that each side is the same length and size. And at the very end of today's video, I'm going to show you a picture of my drawing colored in so you can pause the video and match your colors if you'd like to. Now we will draw the bottom of our volcano by connecting the left side all the way over to the right. Nice! So far this is coming along very well. Now on the inside of our volcano, we're going to begin to draw some small lines for detail. We'll draw two more lines in the center and on the left hand side. Now once we're all done drawing those lines, next step will be to draw the big cloud that's coming out of the top of our volcano. You can make your cloud as big or small as you would like. And then after that step, we're going to draw a few small pieces of lava that appear as if they are shooting out of the top of our volcano. And when we draw this cloud, keep in mind that we're just going to be using primarily small sea-like shapes. And if I ever go too fast, feel free to pause the video so that you can catch up. And for the bottom piece, we're just going to use a simple small curved line to connect it to the volcano. Nice, well done. Next, we're going to add in some small curved lines and seal-like shapes to the inside of our cloud to make it appear as if there's a little bit of detail. But first, I'm going to slide on my paper just a little bit just to make sure that you can see everything.
And around the outside of our cloud, we can add in a couple more small curved lines for a little bit of detail. Fantastic! We're making our way towards the end. Now we're going to begin to draw some small pieces of lava that appear as if they're shooting out of the top of our volcano. We're going to draw a total of two on each side. Now let's do the exact same thing on the left hand side. Now last but not least, before we can color our drawing today, we have to begin to add in some grass that surrounds the bottom of our volcano to make it appear as if it is on an island. When we draw the grass that surrounds our volcano, we're just going to use a lot of small short curved lines. Thanks for watching on how to draw hub. I'm sure your drawing came out great. If you'd like me to see your drawing, then share with me on Instagram by using hashtag learn how to draw hub. And if this video helped you out today, be sure to give it a big like so other YouTube artists and people who want to learn how to draw a volcano can also see our drawing, which will also help us continue to grow our community. Great job today. See you tomorrow. Hey Learn How to Draw Hub crew, if you like videos like this one, then we highly recommend that you consider hitting the subscribe button so that we can keep you updated on videos like this every single day.